Let's open my rover. Open my good rover. This one. I think this one is more stable because it's it's longer and it's it's heavier. It's nine thousand dollars, but I think that I'll be getting um something ridiculous like fifty five thousand from this mission. Is that true? Am I uh true? Yeah. Oh yeah. It actually gave me thirty thousand in advance, which means I am actually getting a total of like eighty six thousand dollars from this. So I think spending spending nine thousand is worth it. Although I can I can take a few things off to um to save some money. Let's take these off. Um, let's go ahead and take these off, and I'm gonna do one engine again. Uh, do I need to take temperature? Is that what I need to do? Yeah, my temperature. So I'm gonna go ahead and put another temperature thing on here. Uh, actually, let's just put these, like, right here. Oh. Looks a bit weird. That's fine. They're fine. Let's go ahead and put the, uh, fuel on. We don't need nearly as much fuel as that. Is this, uh, centered? It is. And intake. Look at that. We've shaved like, what, 2,000, 3,000 bucks off of that? We could shave a little more if we got rid of this, but I'm worried that that will make it more unstable. How much is the Science Junior? 880. I could put this on in its place and get rid of the fuel. Save a little bit more money. Um, yeah, same mobile. Mark three. Should move this back a little bit. Now, I think it's centered. Center's fine. Three places, three temperatures. Let's go. Places around. What do I navigation? Beta. So they're just around the Kerbal Space Program, uh, Kerbal Space uh, uh, Center. Same as last time. Uh, I don't have a huge amount of fuel. It's it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna be basically in Kerbal. Um, Kerbal Space Center, anyway. So I can just recover. If I run out of fuel, I can just recover at any point. Let's actually hit this hill head on. So we don't fall over. Uh, let's time warp. Get there a little quicker. Perfect. That's one. Log. Temperature. Keep it. And then... Turn towards the other one. There we go. 
Fill it faster. Time warp! Except for these little, uh... land glitches here. This look pretty nice. It's getting to be uh, dark. Sun setting. Hopefully we can get this done before it does. Or a little faster. I mean, it's it makes everything faster, so the sun will also set faster, but... Look how much fuel we're using. By which I mean, not much at all. It makes sense, because the engine isn't even really on right now. I mean, it's on, but we're not actually using it right now. We're just kind of coasting. temperature. That's two. Uh, where is the other one? Is it to the, my left? Yeah, there is. I like how I can move this. I can, like, turn without even having the engine on because of the uh, reaction wheel in the command pod. It's kind of funny. Okay, time up again. Wee! I'm so glad that I figured out that these uh, surface missions were just <laughs> around the space center, so I could actually do them because this has been an invaluable source. No, I could say they do have a, a specific value. Uh, they were worth about 80,000 each. And we're done. Contract complete. Let's, uh, oh, Jesus. <laughs> Time warp turning. Okay, let's, uh, let's actually stop time warping for, for one thing. There we go. Now we can time warp. We'll get we'll get closer again just in case it's the bonus is actually existing. I should really look that up sometime. Nice uh nice Sunday drive, nice peaceful uh Wednesday. Wednesday drive. Peaceful Wednesday night drive. That uh, hill is coming up. I hope that this isn't the um, bugged one. It might be. But we'll see. Nope. That's perfectly fine. Yeah, there we go. Just made it. Let's go say hi to the other uh, astronauts. Say, hey guys, I'm just out for a drive. Hope you're training hard in there. And by guys, I mean my only other astronaut because I only have one other astronaut right now because all the other astronauts have died. Uh, we should get Zombie Jeb back in a, in a while. I'm not sure how long that takes. But otherwise, um, yeah. Look at all this space. All this space for two astronauts. Poor astronauts. Poor uh, Valentina and Jeb and Bob and Bill. I actually remember all their names because um <laughs> because they're the they're the Kerbals that you start out with. Uh, after we're done with this, we're gonna time warp so it's daytime again. Because I, I don't want to do a whole bunch of stuff at night. It's too hard to see. 
So after this, we should definitely have enough money to, um, to upgrade our vehicle assembly building. Our next goal after the vehicle assembly building will definitely be the um, airstrip. Uh, yeah, I, I basically lost almost almost no money on that. I got like 95% of my money back on that. Plus, of course, the, uh, the contract money. Let's go ahead and upgrade this. We're we're at a good place right now. God, this is the same thing again. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know what? Oh my god, I can do this easily. I can easily do this. Yes. That is that is so amazing. I can easily do this one too. Oh my god, this one will give us uh, only it's only like what six thousand or something like that. Yeah, I can do that. Um, I should probably get this. I assume it's just any space. I assume I can do it in orbit. Uh, it says space around Kerbin. I have to imagine it's from orbit. Uh, orbiting. Why would I test a solid fuel booster orbiting Kerbin? Who would do that? You don't. You don't need a solid fuel booster up in space. As far as I know, maybe I'm completely wrong. Um. No. No. Specific orbit. Specific orbits are. Well, that's a really big orbit too. No. 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 Okay, I've, I think I've gotten everything that I want to do. So we're going to do another couple of these uh, missions. It's not going to take us very long at all. And then we're going to shoot. We're going to shoot for space. Thank you. Uh, where is my plane? I can grab a plane. No cheap plane. There we go. Now, I'm not sure. Let's see. Have the engine be flying. That's this engine. That's that is literally the engine that I've been using. I think that I can I think that I can do it just with this. I don't think I need like a separate engine to test. Uh this gets us ten thousand. No, oh, we're spending ten thousand. How much um how much am I getting from this? Let's see if I need to um cost reduce this uh this plane. Oh yeah, I'm getting uh twenty two. 23,000. Uh, I think I'm still going to attempt to cost reduce this plane as much as I can. To do that, I will just move this. Uh, is this 1250? Can I get away with it? We're gonna we're gonna find out. <laughs> I mean, it's reducing our costs, that's for sure. 
let's um, let's actually uh, hold on. I need to let's remove this. Remove this. Remove this. Because I'm sure this costs a lot of money. How much does this cost? Five fifty versus three eighty. It's kind of weird, I know, but, uh... Kind of put this uh, kind of right, right above the center mass. Thing to um, put in front of this. Not really. I don't think that's. <laughs> that ain't gonna work. All right. Well, we'll we'll just call this done. We're gonna call this short plane. This should be okay. Uh, I might move these back a little bit. Uh, and we're going to move these down slightly. Let's see, we're also going to... There. Save it. Uh, we're, we're done. We need anything else? We have the parachute. We have the engine, obviously. Which are also the, the engines. Uh, I can probably... I don't know. We'll just, we'll just leave it. I think it's fine. It's going to be a little squirrely. Take a roll off of these. I'm going to take yaw off of these two. Not that these could affect yaw, but, you know, just in case. We're going to try it. So what we're doing, are we doing two things? We're hauling the Juno. No, we're just doing the one thing. We need to test the, uh, the heat shield. But uh, we'll do that um, next. We just need to haul this, these engines up past 2,000 meters. So 2k up, and then we come back and land. Uh, we still have just enough light. Well, I say that, but we're actually going to go ahead and... Uh, Uh, let me double check. I have the engine. 2,000 meters. 90 meters a second. We should be good. Get off the runway before we crash. Yes, we can. And then all literally all we have to do is just go up. Go up to 2,000 and then come right back down. And hey, I think uh, with this 
with this money that we're, we're getting from this and the next test, uh, I'm depending on how much money we have in total, I might finally upgrade my uh, my runway. Could we do like a crew report? Would this be useful? No. There, I'm done. That is that was literally it. Let's start all back. Ooh, ooh. ooh, ooh okay. <laughs> Rolling is still a little bit squirrely. Ooh. We're gonna go down. We're actually going to cut throttle even more. I actually want to turn, turn a little bit more this way, because I don't want to go right onto the uh, KSC there. We're going to kind of go down. We're actually going to go ahead and cut the bottle completely. That was a very short mission. up. <laughs> okay, that's fine. That's it. That was that was the mission. I just need to slow down enough to uh, turn over towards the uh landing strip, so I can kind of see right there. And we'll go onto it. Get us some uh, Monet back for this. Report right here? No. So let's sign warp. Go faster. Come on, seal. Seal isn't really sure what's going on. Seal looks kind of um he looks maybe like he's he's unsure of his life choices right now. And uh is wondering why he's driving on the grass in a uh in a jet plane that is using a Mark One command pod instead of an actual, uh, like a cockpit. He's wondering who the hell this director thinks he is. Uh, a little bit more. A little bit more. A little bit more. A little bit more. Uh, uh, there we go. You know who he is? This director is someone who brought you home to your family tonight, Seal. You should be thankful. Okay. Perfect. Now let's test this um, heat shield. Uh, contract complete. Wonderful. Uh, heat shield. Which heat shield is it? 2.5 meter heat shield. Well, let's... Structural. Two 2.5 meter heat shield. I mean, I can just... Boom. And then I can, uh... I don't even need the other ones. I can actually, you know what? This is it. $625, and we'll make, like, what, 8000 for this? I'm not even going to save it. It doesn't matter. Because all I have to do is put it out there, and then right-click test. Launch. Launch anyway. I think I can test from afar, can I? Do I need a probe core to test? I don't think I do. Yeah, I 
click. Oh, crap. Yeah, I do. Again, that was my fault, so I'm recovering instead of reverting. That's my own damn fault. I don't think I lost any money for that, though. What's the cheapest Procore? 300? 450? 300. Uh, we're gonna move this. I can test it. I click. Test. Done. Power vessel. That was it. That was, that was the test. That was even shorter than the last one.